you're going to make three egg curries. All three have different methods of making it and each one of this is excellent gravies. Look at this nice smoking hot and you should know that eggs do not uh, take in the flavors. When you break them open, then the juices will go in. You will enjoy. Not nalla rikku, it's kadal rikku, man, love. So, mmm. Namaste, Salam Walaikum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your wash chef at Vareva.com. And today, we're going to make egg curry. Not one, we're going to make three egg curries. One is the black curry with the eggs. Other one is with the tamarind juice. Other one is with the tomatoes. All three have different methods of making it. And each one of this is excellent gravies. So first, black egg curry. In this, we have to make the masalas. We have to slowly roast them till the masalas get dark color. I've got bay leaf. Clove, cardamom, cinnamon and black cardamom. In this, one after another, I'm going to add red chilies, peppercorns, coriander seeds. Rest of them are a little bit smaller ones. So first, we're going to slowly roast them. Once you start getting that nice mild flavor, in this, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients here. I'm going to add fennel seeds, methi dana, that is fenugreek seeds, jeera, that is cumin, biryani fool. In this, add poppy seeds the cumin seeds we also have grated coconut add curry leaves also to this slowly dry roast these ingredients till even the coconut gets nice and dark color you will see how the color of these ingredients will change we got that nice dark color switch off the flame put this into a blender and make it into a fine powder now add oil in this you have to see this masala powder just like you know cocoa powder full of flavor mm, you know this is almost like the goda masala of Maharashtra and in this oil we are going to add some onion, some salt and to get this uh, dark color you are going to brown the onions. These onions will get dark color in no time. So add uh, ginger garlic paste. This will also help in giving a nice red color. Add turmeric. We are going to stop the browning by adding tomato puree. Now the basic thing. We got the sourness little bit from the tomato and the nice flavor. But this masala and the gravy water will form will be very tasty. Let this tomato cook in this oil. Later we are going to add the powder. Perfect. Now add this black masala. Add water also into this. In no time this will get thick. But let this cook for at least 15 minutes on a slow flame. Masalas everything gets cooked perfectly. The gravy is getting cooked. I have checked the sarnas, I need more. I am going to add some tamarind paste. Another dark thing, not too much, little bit. Also salt. You know, further cooking, this will become excellent. Oil has to come out of this. This gravy is all ready. The desired thickness, everything perfect. I am adding pinch of secret. The secret is little bit sugar. The gravy gets absolutely fantastic dark color gravy. This is all ready to serve. The dark the egg curry you can also drop in the eggs in this and cook but we're just going to add the eggs boiled eggs into it and then serve these eggs get dipped in this look at this nice smoking hot on this little bit of coriander this gravy is excellent for biryanis pull-offs everything instead of making a salon make this gravy with the mild pull-offs and biryanis this will be amazing dear friends make this kind of thing but let's go ahead and make the next recipe is with onions again we're going to add oil and in this we're going to add a lot of onions this is called kodi to pulusu basically the onions and uh, tamarind juice first we're going to add some red chili i love to add little smaller pieces because i can eat them off they add bigger pieces they throw them off no add the mustard seeds even the mustard seeds kind of crackle then add cumin seeds in this, you can add the fenugreek seed powder, methi powder or else you can add some methi seeds also. When this all splutter, add lot of curry leaves and onions. Onions on one side, curry leaves on one side. So these onions need to get slight coloring. Add salt to this. We are going to slightly brown the onion. Now look at these onions, they are slightly colored but not much. That's it. Now you need to arrest the coloring. We are going to add ginger garlic paste this is slightly dried out the ginger garlic paste turmeric now we're going to add the masalas as well as the tamarind juice i've got chili powder coriander powder cumin powder little bit of garam masala mix all of this 
before this get burnt or anything we are going to add the tamarind juice these onions will get soft in this you will form a very nice gravy in this add some more green chilli maybe little more of water now we are going to bring this to a nice boil and that's when we are going to check the seasoning and in this little bit of sweetness in form of jaggery or little bit of sugar will give it extra excellent taste the onions which have dried out they will slightly swell in this that's when you will get that perfect flavor and taste after the adjusting of uh, salt in this i'm going to add some sugar just half a teaspoon of sugar you know will give a very nice taste in this also add some chopped coriander this chopped coriander is also excellent now i'm going to check the taste i want this much thickness with onion aha the sourness everything is perfectly the way i like so let's go ahead and serve this onion gravy is perfectly ready pour this wow you know that little bit of oil that is floating that will make this even more tasty the red chilies the way i put them they are nice and the green chilies the coriander leaf everything and here all we need to do is take the eggs once again dip them in and perfect the nice onion and uh, tamarind gravy is ready let's make the chennai the tamil nadu style the red tomato and coconut based curry so for this we're going to add some oil we're going to add some mustard seeds when the mustard seeds scramble around and beautifully in this we're going to add uh, the cumin seeds and we're going to add the round chilies reduce the flame in this we're going to add garlic and shallots the small baby onion the garlic and these ones you know just slightly saute it the garlic instantly get that colors fast and in the curry because of uh, the sourness and everything it will get good i also add some chopped onion in this add curry leaf turmeric i did not brown the onions i let them remain like that but i'm going to wait for one more minute and then in this add this ginger garlic paste and in this we don't add too much of masalas so you can add the thakali that is a tomato and add or else you can add the chili powder as well as coriander powder no other masalas in this we going to add lot of tomatoes and the curry will be red in color we going to let these tomatoes cook till they become nice and soft if you want nice little bit of gravy you can also add water in this let these tomatoes become nice and soft from the red chili powder and the tomatoes you got an excellent color in this you know we going to add the coconut paste it's up to you how much you want to add even if you want to skip you can skip but this one will give a very nice taste and after adding the coconut paste you don't cook it for more time just let this simmer for 2 minutes on a slow flame adjust the seasoning you know always make sure you add salt in the last to adjust the seasoning you have got the nice silky gravy and this is hmm absolutely perfect in the last add some chopped coriander this is all ready look at the nice takali tokku means a chutney like curry all you do is take the eggs just beautifully stuff it in the three egg curries one is the tomato tokku kind of thing other one is the onion based curry the other one is nice the masala and it goes excellent with pulavs so why don't we go ahead and try them we got this awesome egg curries look at them one the nice chocolate color this is just way too super and you should know that eggs do not uh, take in the flavors only when you break them open then the juices will go in and that's when you will enjoy so look at this nice gravy once this gravy gets done the little bit of oil everything will float on top the eggs kind of i break them and then you know with the gravy you try the eggs that is when this is nice and tasty i have to tell you one story in the college when we had egg eating competition i ate almost 30 or 40 eggs in just 3 minutes this nine eggs is piece of cake now with this curry mm the dark curry with egg is fantastic the next curry is what we call this as kodi guddu pulsu you have to see how beautiful this uh, curry is and this slightly browned onions will be absolutely tasty and a little bit of uh, jaggery or sugar in this is mandatory 
in this curry without that you will never get that taste mm. this we make very often at home whenever we make simple plain dal this egg is fantastic dear friends this is another great dish i grew up eating this curry a lot obviously you know the childhood flavors are will be your favorite so this is my favorite mm. the next one is this takali tokku all these egg curries have one thing in common they are slightly sour and you did not cook the eggs in the gravy because there is no point whenever i eat this uh, you know chennai style egg curry i always have to say romba romba kadal irukku and these guys ask me to tell romba romba nalla irukku not nalla irukku it's kadal irukku man love so mm, no doubt this chutney like you know subtle flavor compared to onion browns and compared to even this all of them have unique flavors and taste and all i say is i romba romba kadal irukku all of you dear friends make great food enjoy great food these awesome you know eggs i got to finish now because i am on a campaign i want to feel my college days eat nine eggs at least and this garlic in this chutney kind of curry is amazing mm.